All right, Mark, we're back with your little puppy. I don't know what you ended up uh, wanting to name him, so I'm going to get him going with the leash. And he's already trained with the platform. Again, you always, whenever you first meet a dog, you want to just see how much, you know. Because if you said, what's the ideal relationship with the dog? Oh, what's your biggest fan? Am I wrong? You're right. When you go to a concert, you know, the person doesn't get off the stage and start hugging you. You're going after them. Am I wrong? You're right. So if I want him to be my fan, you know, I have to. And he's somebody that goes away. You know, and, and I'm really thinking of it this way. Oh, you stop. You know, if you ask this puppy, does she come at you? They'd say, oh, God, no, never. She's always going away. Come at us, no. You know, whereas you know how, like, when you go out, people are always wanting to... So that's that's how you have to think of it. Every, every move I make is going away. You know, I'm not even there. I'm keeping them out of my eye line. Unless I want you know, to do and watch this. Puppy Regal! So I, I'm going to text you, Mark, and find out what the name is. And this kook, just so you know, Mark is my attorney. Um, Mark, this kook, this incapable family was attempting to Baker Act this guy. Late Friday, well, I can tell you, all the judges went uh, home for the weekend. So they supposedly went there Monday to Baker Act this lunatic. Um, and so now I don't know what's going on because I had to get... Uh, Crystal, out of my life. People have to understand, and I know you know this, Mark, but when every single person that's in your life is worse off for knowing you, that's not good. That makes you a bad person. Oh. Wouldn't you say so? Very much so. If every person that you met in your life is worse off because of you, you're a terrible person. Mark's like, who cares? Uh, so anyway, we're going to just do the leash training, and hopefully you can come. And I'll be over all my trauma by then, Mark. I'll bake you guys cookies. I won't be having any more of my sob stories. Yeah, this lunatic was after me for no reason. All right, look, so I'm getting my collar on as quickly as possible. You know, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't want it to be ritualistic at all. If I'm um, making too big of a deal out of it, well, you know, if you asked him what what just happened, he, I don't know. He's not thinking there was a big kerfuffle over getting something on my neck. You know, and you want to just be able to sit next to the dog. You know, if you just met somebody and you went to the movies with them, would you want them touching you all the time? Even then, you'd be thinking, you know. This chick seems maybe a little too needy. Am I wrong? You're right. <laughs> seems a little too. You know, where are you going with this? If when you first meet somebody, you're that all over them, where does it go from there? You know what I mean? I'll tell you, we're to bitter hatred and divorce from what I've seen of the world. So that's why, you know, I'm, you know, and I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at my old videos, but, you know, I've just developed this posture of not, I just don't have that. You know, and if you said, how are you going to correct him for biting the leash, I'd say, what? What? What are you Yeah, Mark, I think this puppy even has like a potential for like a service dog puppy. You know, and that's what you want. If you said, what is a good companion dog? Honestly, in this day and age, one that just sits next to you while you text and stuff. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. Not some needy dog that, you know. And I think people have to think of that with the dog. If I'm going to, you know, have a dog in my life, I, I do want to work towards having it a low-maintenance dog, not have it be a very high-maintenance needy dog that I'm constantly... 
having to fulfill. Am I wrong? You know, that it needs, it constantly has to have attention. It constantly, you know, that it can't just hang out. So, yeah, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this, and there was another video where it was just um, laying down like that. But it's a pretty nice, calm puppy, don't you think? Nice, calm. That was blind, just ignore it. Don't move, don't move, don't let it move you. Skylar's going after Quishon. He's like, what the hell's happening? I have a blind deaf dog, too. That one's just blind. All right, so look, so I'm going to do my little hand signal thing. And he's already looking at me, but I'm really not having any reaction. I'm gonna, I already know, because I tested it a minute ago, I already know I can control him with movement. I'm going to give him a little precursor hand signal for him. job is just to appear and give the dog the treat. Not really ask, you know, if he's sitting as a secondary thing. All right, look, so I want him to watch my hand. He's already watching it. There's a little precursor. Precursors that sent him to the platform. You saw that, didn't you? Christian, you gotta look through the thing. He's so intrigued with what I'm saying, he's not even looking through the camera. But again, even from right here, I'm interesting because, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm interesting from right here, Mark. Because my friend Mark's in the Because there is the possibility of movement. Because dogs are all about movement. Not that I'm making him stay or whatever I look. So there's my hand signal. It's the same thing. All right, here's all my precursors. Hands are up. He's going to sit. Shoe bottom's ruining my zen. Forget it. All right, hang on. Forget my precursor. I want to go right into it. Hang on. He was like, to hell with you and the precursors, lady. Just get to the chase. 